Just two besties on their way to scooters. He's looking at me like, can we just go already? We're sticking so long. We got the one that donates today, so it's a fun blue color. Tate is just so anxious. Watch how he doesn't even bite this. Chew it. Yeah, you just swallowed that hole. That's ridiculous. Here's the puzzle of the month I am working on. I have been trying to do a new puzzle every single month and this one is very funky. You can see it has these like really interesting shapes that you have to work around and it's actually kind of difficult. You'd think that would make it easier but it's kind of difficult to know how things are lining up and you can't really, like a lot of things just like fit into place so they don't lock in so things are moving around but so far it's been really fun. This is what the puzzle looks like so it's super pretty and yeah. Can't wait to get that one finished. Maybe I'll work on it a little bit today. Okay, so I got this huge pack. <laughs> Look at Tate over there with his toy. <laughs> yeah, what you got, Tate? <laughs> oh my gosh. So I got these on Amazon. I honestly have no idea the quality. I mostly just wanted to see if they'd be good to color with because I got a coloring book um, a couple weeks ago and I needed more options. Now this has a ton of colors. I don't know that I'm gonna need them all, but I would love to have a color chart to know what each one looks like. And if, like, look at how many reds that, I feel like these all just look the same. So I guess we'll find out if they really do. If you thought to yourself, you did some of those numbers twice, the answer would be yes. Some of them are really hard to see, and this is not just the camera. Like, I, this is white. I don't know why they would include that, but some of these are not white, and they still were, like, invisible. Overall, though, I think these are really nice colors, and like, there's a lot of cool and warm tones of each color, so that'll make it's gonna make coloring so much fun i'm so excited to use these and actually color a page maybe i should color it whoops this is getting all i don't ever sit over here maybe i should color a page today um the only issue is i don't know where where did the coloring book go that i was just using last week so what happens when i clean my office no i actually don't know where it is Okay, crisis averted, I found this. I have so many that I wanna do. I kinda highlighted some of the easier ones that I could practice with because when you use new markers, it's like, how are they gonna color, you know? But this one looks like it would be a good tester. Let's see what other ones I marked. Oh, this one's, this one's a good, easy one. So now I just have to decide what colors I wanna use out of all the colors that I just swatched. I think it's so important for creative people to have hobbies that are not related to their job. Why is it snowing? That's what I wanna know. Why is there snow coming down?
Okay, so I used alcohol markers in this coloring book and it bled through pretty much everywhere. I think that's just inevitable with alcohol markers. They're really hard to not bleed through things, but it didn't bleed onto the next page, which is more important. And it didn't really ruin anything in this page, so not too concerned. I'm not sure if these are more pigmented or whatnot than like Copic markers, but that's the markers I'm using, so. It is super hard to record me doing my nails because I get super close to them. So I actually kind of messed up some of them because I was trying to put the camera in front, but it's okay. I never do these because I think I'm good at them or anything. I just like the colors and I like that they stay longer than regular nail polish. super messed up. Is it because I didn't put the top coat on yet and I went to do this nail? That's the one thing that sucks about gel nails is if you mess it up at all then the mess up stays with you but if it's perfect then they're nice and perfectly smooth and it just feels so nice. Uh, but I fucked this one up. Time for the top coat, the most important part. It's really important that you actually put the top coat on and not like accidentally put the base coat yeah and if you put the base coat on top it stays sticky basically you want the top coat to be super smooth or else you're gonna be able to feel every little thing so each layer is super important to take your time because you you want them to be super thin layers so it's not like this huge thing sitting on your fingernail and then you want it to be super smooth and like not have any ridges and not have any like sections that's thicker than others because then you'll have this huge bump. I say this as if I'm like someone who knows what they're talking about, but these are just a few of the things I've learned. I'm not super amazing at it, but also I feel like I do decent. My left hand is actually my dominant hand while well, I'm a lefty, but when it comes to sports and everything, I'm kind of like hit or miss with what side I'm dominant in, but my nails I do better with my left hand, which makes sense because I write with my left hand and like do lettering, so I have a lot more muscle control in my left hand. Oh shit, I forgot to put the light on my fingers. I'll do that. 